And Chris Nagar to kick it off for SMU. Line and a new quarterback in Brady McBride. Now McBride was not in the game there, and that was Jalen Gibson. And he has to retrieve the ball inside the 10-yard line. Three-man rush. It's a draw. Brock Sturgis bouncing off the tackler. Got a block on the outside, and he's got a first down and more. On bounce to the outside right there. Getting out of a big hole in the first series. A gain of 35. McBride hit as he throws it. Still completes to Chandler Spates, the junior. They're going to go for it. Slings it near sideline. It's caught. Hey, Dell. Stiff arms his way inside the 10. A first down for the senior from Houston, Jeremiah Haydell. On third and goal. McBride pressured again, running in circles, and nowhere to go, crunched at the 20-yard line. A redshirt freshman. And he missed it. McDaniel motions out, empty set. Here's the blitz, Bouchelle read it, got rid of it. And he's got his tight end, Kylan Granson, galloping down the sideline. He's in for six, if it stands. At the reception, personal foul, blindside block, offense number eight. 15-yard penalty, remains second down. Going to see this right after the catch. The officials avoid it, and right there, has to settle down and become more accurate. McBride got rid of this one quickly, and it's Calvin Hill. You talk about a great name for a running back from Texas. Little east-west shake again by Hill. SMU did lose a lot defensively, especially up front. McBride running in circles, gets away from Cox, and he's intercepted. Picked off by Jimmy Phillips. Got the poppers, the confetti. Bouchelle, 8 out of 10, 53 yards. Floats one downfield. It's hauled in by Robertson. Second and eight. Here's the blitz. Bentley picked it up. Caught downfield and then dropped. Austin Upshaw could not hold on. Looks like the official on the sideline near the pylon. Now that's clearly not a catch. Field is confirmed. Followed by a forward, resulting in a first down. From the six, Bentley again. Burst to speed, and he'll touch the Happy Isles. Ulysses Bentley with his first career TD. And that's what the players and that's what the coaches here too. Third and two. Hill. Turbo's ahead for a first down for Texas State. State's having their way up front. On third down, open receiver, it's Spates. And Texas State moves the chains again. Armani Johnson on the stop. McBride stands in the pocket momentarily. Now dances. The happy feet. And completes downfield to the 10-yard line. Now they'll keep playing, third and goal. Handoff, Sturgis angles in, and Texas State a PAT from tying the game. Today starting just one player, Jaron Morris, a cornerback, who started last year. Nice run for McDaniel, he takes it all the way to midfield and moves the chains. Wide open, Rashi Rice. Well, Shane Michelle wants to be wants to be an on-time passer. A gain of 24. Now Bentley picks up nine, second and one. In plays took up 12 minutes of clock today. <laughs> Bentley makes a man miss, and he's in again. 
and an interception. Calvin Hill breaking free. And he's close to the 45-yard line. But Here's Hill. He's got midfield. And he's going to be close. Number 90, Jake Lynch in there to block. Sturgis, first down and more. Down the sideline, bumped out of bounds near the 25-yard line. McBride, end zone again. Touchdown! Haydell brought it in with one hand. A focus concentration and then maybe most importantly ensuring that you get down inbounds and not have that ball come loose on you <laughs> a bit of a surprise one half here in the books at bobcat stadium all tied at 14. Shell down the seam. Gray with the catch in stride. And SMU in Texas State Territory. And Bouchelle was just a freshman at Texas. Yep. Upshaw, converted quarterback. Lowers the shoulder and tumbles out of bounds. His teammates. Yep. Bentley with an opening. And surges inside the 10, first and goal. Ulysses Bentley, scrappiest player on the team. McDaniel, stiff arm to the outside and in for a touchdown. touchdown SMU. Around SMU and for a different generation, they still remember when SMU wasn't just a school buried in a non-Power 5 conference. When the game ends, the next week should start. So first down after the penalty. And here's Rashi Rice, B buttons across the 40. And close to the 30 of Texas State. And Bouchelle hit. Tapped and it's intercepted. Cornell Rogers. Finally tackled by McDaniel. On first down. This is Hill. Spins free and finally wrestled to the ground by Chase Cromarty. Traditional four down look from a year ago. McBride slings one into the end zone. Spates holds on for a touchdown. But Daniel cut back. And suplex down at the 28-yard line. Bouchelle pumps. Has Rice. Got a nice block. Texas State slow getting set. Bentley. Close to midfield. And a ball might have come out. Texas State says it's a fumble. Ooh, that ball mm. looks to be out before an elbow or knee goes down. Three is laying right next to the ball. Now, and there's here's no the whistle. Issue. Now, here's the issue. There was no immediate recovery in the aftermath of that fumble. Bouchelle downfield, completes to Robertson, reaching. And he's in for six. And you could have guessed two different people at this school, too. And that's right. Shane Bouchelle to throw. He's got Tyler Page, the veteran receiver, dragging tacklers. I think Danny Ford was, what, 33-34 when he won with Homer Jordan? Bouchelle downfield. There's the deep ball. Hits Rice in stride. And went to grad school at Marshall. <laughs> T.J. McDaniel inside the 10, and Tornado's down to the 6. The field goal in college. McDaniel powering through the ball, comes out! And Texas State comes up with it. 
right. Wow. Moving on the field is a fumble subsequently recovered by the defense. Yeah, that is a fumble. He did not break the plane of the end zone. They're allowing Texas State to hang around due to errors. Ball is out again. But Texas State able to cover it up. Heat and the cramping out here, still battling. Yeah, they're down two linebackers. Tupo's been injured. Stringer rejected for targeting. This is Graham. Pinball wizard, and he lost the ball. What is going on? SMU takes over at the Bobcats 44. Bouchelle checks down to McDaniel. And we finally have a play that ends without a fumble. Bouchelle will hand it off. Granson driven back. And this is going to be awfully close. Judging from the initial spot, he looked short. Wow. Tyler Page across the 40. Into Bobcat territory, a nice return. Third and eight now. McDaniel splits wide. Four-man rush. Bouchelle gets rid of it. He's picked off. Grid Isidore with the interception. And SMU turns it over again. Can you execute? McBride throws on the run. Nearly intercepted. It's incomplete. Turnover on downs. Brandon Crossley nearly picked it off. What Ryan Silverfield won't have is Kenny Gainwell, one of the best running backs in the country, opting out of the season. TJ McDaniel using the stiff arm as if to say, get off my plane. First of all, face mask, defense, number 20. 15-yard penalty, first down. First career field goal attempt for Chris Nagar, the grad transfer from Texas. And he drills it. In our country right now with COVID and, and how that's, you know, affecting everybody's roster. Graham on the slant, contact tracing. Yep. The last thing McBride wants to do right now is get hurt. Well, yeah, and that's the last thing the coaching staff wants to see happen too. Against a three-man rush. And that is Shereed. K-Dot. McBride chased and sacked by Cox. And it's fourth down, and that's the last thing Texas State needed. Field goal try by Arona from 47 is good. Arona kicks it. It takes a bounce, and it's recovered by SMU. A loss, but one you can build off as you're building a program. SMU has heightened expectations after a 10-win season a year ago. Sonny Dykes now has his team's attention. There's going to be a teaching moment with no game next week. A teaching moment with a win behind it.